Hey guys, World's Playground here. Uh, that is better. Um, and today I want to be showing you guys how to basically get and operate Winterboard on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, first off, Winterboard. Um, it's an application which will look kind of like any other game that you have on your device um, that allows you to customize your device with pictures, you know, basically to customize a lot of your stuff. You know how you get your slide to unlock? You can change that to say slide to, to awesome or push me, baby. You know, you can even change the text, what it says. You can change the slider so it's not that gray arrow, you know. You can change the picture of that battery for when you're charging it. You can just change all that stuff. And I want to show you guys how. First off, <coughs> first off, I'm going to need you guys to... You're going to have to pause this video, but I'm going to need you guys to go to Cydia, type in Winterboard, and then just download it. It's already on your device when you jailbreak it. So just go to Cydia, Winterboard, done. I'm just a little itchy. Then once you're done downloading it, which hopefully you paused the video, now you played it because you're done, um, I want you guys to go ahead and open it. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like, you know, so you guys get a good feel for um, its layout. Once you've opened it up, you're going to be bombarded with a whole bunch of things you might not have heard of before, like a transparent dock or solid status bar. Um, there's a lot of different stuff in there that you might not understand. Um, but I want to give you guys a quick example of three things. The user wallpaper, user lock background, and the transparent dock. I want you guys to click the transparent dock. So by or enabling it, all you got to do is tap on it. And then you'll see a check mark beside it. That means it's enabled. After you do that, you need to press the home button. All right, do that. And you'll notice a loader in the center there. And then it will it, it, it will look like it, shut, it shuts off, but it's not. And then after it does this, it actually takes about 15 seconds to 25 seconds for it to like load up again. Basically, it's just understanding what you just did, kind of refreshing the device. Um, and it takes about, it, it takes a little while. It used to be, it used to be pretty quick, but I'm assuming it's a little bit safer and easier to use now. So before it had crashes and sometimes your device would get into like a safe mode and it seems to be working a lot better now. So anyway, it does take a little while for it to uh, kind of turn back on. So you just gotta wait a second here. All right, there we go. So um, as you can see, it's back on, slide to unlock. Now, see how I enabled the transparent dock? Well, you might notice at the bottom where your dock is, you no longer have that little bar that you had there. It's transparent, meaning it's there's nothing there anymore. It's see-through, clear. You're able to see through that into your background, which is all black at the moment. Your background photo is, isn't a photo. It's just black. But now I'm going to show you how to change that. Right now, um, I just want you guys to go to settings. Um, I'm going to unplug my device to show you guys this just to make it a little bit easier. Go to wallpaper and um, then select any of the wallpapers you like. The one that you usually have on your slide to unlock screen. I'm going to click the Mona Lisa set wallpaper. And as you can see, it's on my slide to unlock screen is the Mona Lisa. So I'm just going to slide to unlock. Then once you guys chose the wallpaper that best suits you guys, I want you to scroll all the way over back to the wallpaper application or winterboard application. And once it's opened up, I want you to tap the top tab thing, user wallpaper. Go ahead and tap that and then press the home button. And then once again, we'll do that little load thing. And the, there's a little bit of a difference here and you might be able to notice this. Right now, it's a black screen, all black, which even is almost the same color as your, uh, you know, the black parts of your iPhone or iPod Touch. Once it's done doing its load, the screen actually turns gray, which is what it would be if the screen itself wasn't on. Right now, the screen is actually illuminating black lights or the color black, which is kind of hard to tell. So, you know, it could be obvious once it's done loading. You know, might not, because the color is pretty similar. So anyway, once again, just wait 30 min 30 seconds. All right, and then it should just pop back up again like this. All right, so now I need you guys to slide to unlock. And now you guys will be able to notice that your background photo is the Mona Lisa, or whatever wallpaper you guys chose. 
which is pretty neat. And what's cool about this is you guys can choose any photo you want to be in that background. It doesn't just need to be something from that wallpaper. Now I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and I need you guys to go back to Cydia. And I'm just going to give you guys another little example of things you can do. Um, right now I'm going to be like generalizing because I could go for another 10 minutes showing you guys how to download a whole bunch of other things to customize your device, but that would take just too long. So now I'm just going to quickly show you guys something really fast. Um, I just got to wait till my Cydia loads up. Um, I'd really recommend looking at my Cydia Help 1 video first which is all sources, um, just because you're going to need that to get a lot of the stuff I'm going to show you right now. Um, so yeah, you should probably check out the Cydia Help 1 video first to learn how to get all sources. If you already have it, great. If you don't, you don't need them, but it definitely helps. Because right now you're going to be downloading stuff off Cydia. So if you downloaded all sources, you're going to have more stuff to download. Alright, I'm just reloading the data takes a second. I sneeze again. Sort of. There's a lot of data. There we go. It is done. Alright. So now I want you guys to click sections. Out of the five tabs you have at the bottom, it is the second one called sections. I want you guys to scroll pretty much all the way down until you hit Themes. You're going to see themes, apps, themes, batteries, theme, battery lock, theme, battery, theme, carrier, carriers, complete, dialer, dock, French, horlage, which is clock in French, I know that. Keyboard loaders, luxury notifications, page dots, per page, ringtones, SB settings, sliders, SMS sounds, springboard system, video, videos, weather, weather icon, winterboard. Alright, so um, that is all the stuff you can download that works with winterboard. I'm going to do one quick uh, example of how it works, but while you're scrolling through here, and you know how you've seen themes battery? Well, if you download one of the things from that category, and you apply it using Winterboard, whenever you're on your lock screen while your device is plugged in, you know how you see that battery? Well, it will be different. It won't be that normal battery. It will be whatever you downloaded. But I'm going to give a quick example of themes dialer, because I have an iPhone, I have the, the dial pad and I'm going to download this thing called uh, Wave Dialer Theme. And I'm going to go ahead and click install. Install. Hopefully I'll be able to beat 10 minutes here. But what I'm saying here is, you know how I'm doing the dialer? Well you guys can do your battery, you can do your apps, you can do your dock, you can do SMS, you guys can do so many different things that customize everything. If it says themes and then it's something in parenthesis or brackets whatever's in between there is what it's focused on if it says background it's basically focusing on the background of your device like that Mona Lisa I showed you that's the background um, if it says oh no background is the whole entire thing it will change so much it will change it could even change your lock screen it could change your background photo you know you guys just experiment and you'll see what I mean but once you're done downloading something, this is just what you'll need to do to apply whatever you download. Because it doesn't start up right away. Once you're done downloading, which I am, but my device is being... Alright. Once you're done downloading, I want you guys to go over to Winterboard. And you should be able to find whatever you downloaded. It should show up in your Winterboard. Usually go straight to the top. As you can see there, I have Wave Dialer. I'm going to head and ta er, tap it, apply it, it's going to load up. I am really reaching 10 minutes here. I'm going to pause the video until my phone starts up again. Alright you guys, and now as you can see, my dialer is a wave. I know I just mentioned that I am reaching 10 minutes, I just put all my videos in a, a, a movie editing thing program and I reduced the length of my video, so I have about another 30 seconds left. So anyway, and as you guys can see, it is a wave pretty cool. So anyway, um, that's how you uh, basically use Winterboard. You guys can experiment with the different stuff you can find on Cydia to work with. So you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate 5 stars, subscribe, and check out my Cydia Help 1 and the other Cydia Helps that I will be making. So you guys, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned.